Hi, in this video I'm going to be showing you some hints and tips on how to clean your flat screen TV. So first of all I want to show you some things on what to do, on how to clean the TV. I'm also going to show you what you shouldn't use to clean your TV screen. I have got some cleaner solutions here that you could find around your house. I'm going to try on this old LED TV and I want to see if it's going to damage the screen or not. Just before I start, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up. What I do is I talk about household appliances. I do specialise in vacuums and there's normally a bit of tech in there as well. This is one of the most common questions we get asked in our showroom, especially as regards TVs. What to clean the TV screen with? Now there are dedicated cleaners out there. Uh, we, we sell one of these. Uh, this is just a, a little spray and it's got a, a little cloth in there. Things like this, they do work. Uh, you've also got these. These are cleaning tissues or wipes. So these kind of products are okay. Uh, you can find, I suppose I'll be completely honest, that they can be a little a bit expensive for what they're doing. All you're doing is just cleaning the TV screen. Uh, especially with some of the wipes, we do find that if you don't turn the TV off, if, if you're wiping the TV when it's still warm, then you can get smeary marks on it. I'm sure some of you have had that over the years. Uh, what do you use to clean your TV screen with? Um, I'll be really interested to know. Just pop it in the comments below. But as good as some of these products are, we do find that in a showroom, we just tend to use these. Uh, so these are microfiber e-cloths. Uh, I'll post a link below here because we, we do sell quite a few of these now, especially for cleaning TV screens. We just find the best way is to get the cloth and just give it a white round. So just give the the screen a quick wipe over first of all that just gets rid of a lot of the dust initially and depending on how dirty that is you might just want to fold it over or go and get another cloth the next step will be to get some distilled water uh, it's only a very very light amount and that really depends on how dirty the screen is just quickly spray it onto the cloth I wouldn't recommend spraying it onto the screen itself so just spray it into the cloth and then after you've got that on there, then just give it a wipe over again. And then once you've done that, you may find that you might just need to go over it again with a slightly drier side of the cloth or just use a different one. It is important that you use a certain type of e-cloth. Uh, you will find there are certain microfiber cloths uh, like these ones. These are more general cleaning microfiber cloths. Uh, but what you find is that some of them are a little bit more abrasive. So it's quite important you get the right one before you start cleaning the TV screen. You will find a lot of TV screens, especially over the last four or five years, have like an anti-glare coating. And depending on the cloth you're using, you could find if you're not cleaning it properly, you might start to get very thin like hairline scratches, or even worse, you might start to take off the anti-glare coating on the screen. That can also be a problem if you start to use things like paper towel or kitchen roll, as some people call it. Uh, because these are wood-based products, over the years, if you keep on doing the same action of cleaning the TV screen with certain products, then you could find that you might end up damaging the screen a little bit prematurely. Also, just a quick cleaning tip, around the back, have a look around the back of the TV. If you've not cleaned it for a while, you could find that it's quite dusty around there. Now, first of all, a lot of people might use a paintbrush to start brushing the dust away from the TV. That's not really ideal because what you might be doing is to brush the dust inside the vents into the TV. Now that's clearly not going to help. You don't want the dust going into the TV, you want to get it out. So I'd always recommend using a vacuum cleaner. Uh, just pop it along the vents around the TV because you want to take the dust away from it. And then perhaps to use a microfiber cloth just to go around all of the sockets to get rid of any of the excess dust as well. Now just one note, I did forget to mention a moment ago, the microfiber cloth or the e-cloth that you're using to clean the TV screen, only use it for this purpose. What you don't want to do is to use the distilled water on your cloth, go and clean your TV screen, and then after that, go and use the same cloth to go and clean your kitchen sink or something with other solutions. Just keep this cloth dedicated to cleaning your TV screen. Now I've shown you a good way to clean the TV screen. These are some cleaning solutions that people have asked us about over the years as to whether they can use on their TV to clean the screen. I'm not joking on some of these. So what I've done is I just wanted to test this uh, just to see what's gonna happen to this TV screen. Now, first of all, this is actually an old TV. It's around eight or nine years old. The screen has been damaged, so it is going to be 
recycled, it's, it is fit for the bin basically. So don't worry, I'm not gonna ruin a normal TV screen. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some tape on here, put, put some masking tape, just to divide it up into six sections. I'm gonna pick six products that people have asked us about. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean the TV screen with that solution and see what happens to the panel. So now I've divided this screen roughly into six squares. Now, for some reason, young children seem to be attracted to putting their hands or fingerprints on TVs. Uh, what's the worst thing that you've had on your TV? Uh, I know at home ourselves, we, when my son was very young, he was proud as punch because he found a pen and he went to draw on the TV screen a little tiger. Now, it was quite difficult to be annoyed at him because the tiger he'd drawn on the TV was actually pretty good said he was really young uh, but we had to teach him that that's not really the right thing to do what have you had on your tv screen is there something either really random that you've had on there has somebody drawn on it or have you had something spilt on it let me know in the comments because i'm really interested so the first one i'm going to try is probably one of the most popular ones and this is just a multi-purpose cleaning spray uh, this is something that i suppose is used around the house a lot so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of the kitchen roll and just put some of this on the screen. So I'd say, first of all, that seems okay. So I suppose as an initial cleaning, that doesn't seem too bad. It's, it's left a, a slight mark on there. Um, but overall, it's not too bad. The next one we get asked about is furniture polish. So I've just found some old furniture polish. Let's get some more kitchen roll here. So let's do this one in the, the bottom right. That certainly made it a lot more matte finish. And it's certainly not clean the screen. So whatever, if I was to use that, I'd certainly need to go over it again with something else. I'll just try and bring you in a bit closer. Not quite sure if you can see that, but there's definitely not as much reflection from the TV screen as there was. The next one I want to try and I'm not joking, when somebody is asked about this, here's some WD-40. Uh, this definitely isn't normally used for cleaning TV screens, but I will give it a go, just to see what this will do. And as far as cleaning the TV screen, it certainly hasn't cleaned it. It's just provided a horrible greasy mess on there. Let's just take you in a little bit closer. Um, yeah, you can definitely see that it's, yeah, it's really could do with a, a good clean after that. Now, over the last couple of years with the coronavirus, hand sanitizer has been a big thing around the world. And that's another thing that people have asked us, can they clean the TV screen with hand sanitizer? I suppose the other thing to bear in mind is if you have just sanitised your hands, if you're going to go and touch your TV screen, what will it do to it? So I've got some 70% uh, alcohol hand sanitizer. So I thought I would just try this. Let's get some fresh kitchen roll. So let's pour that on there. Just try not to, not to spill it. So if we go into the bottom one here, okay, I have put way too much on there. Let's get some of this, and that's it. So that's coming 
went off nicely. Uh, I won't say it's necessarily damaging the screen. Uh, it's certainly not clean, is it? I'll just show you that. So it's left it, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's left it quite smeary in the middle there. Uh, so hand sanitizer definitely isn't the one to use. Now the next two, I'm going to put the, the glove on. I'm not quite sure why somebody would want to clean their TV screen with bleach, but I'm not joking, I have been asked over the years, can I clean my TV screen with bleach that you'll clean your toilet with? So I thought I've just got to give it a go. Uh, it's something I've, I've never tried and I never want to try, but I thought I'll give it a go on this TV. So let's get some more kitchen roll. Going to pop some of this on here. We're not going to need too much of that. And we're going with the top left one, just to see what it does. And it's certainly not cleaned it. Well, first of all, that smells horrible. You definitely wouldn't want to clean your screen with that. And hopefully you can see it has left it really smeary. Uh, and there's a good chance if it had an anti-reflective coating on it, then if you're using that quite a bit, then that will definitely damage it. While I'm studying with my Marigold glove on, the last solution that somebody has asked me about is a cleaning solvent. Uh, now I'm not joking about this. I know for a lot of people, they're thinking it's completely bizarre, but I just want to try it because this is some stuff that we have used over the years. So let's pour this. I'm just going to do a tiny amount onto the glove. I do need to be really careful with this. So the bottom left. I suppose I had no idea what it would do initially. Let's just get some more kitchen roll just to try and dry it off a little bit. So just to show you on this, not too sure if you can see that. Uh, it hasn't left the, the drying marks as a lot of the others have. Uh, a lot of the others are quite smeary and you'd really need to go over it again. I'm actually quite impressed that none of the products I use have actually damaged this TV screen. Uh, so initially from the initial cleaning of it, I know it's only a little bit and it's only once that I've cleaned the TV screen, uh, but none of them have actually damaged it. Uh, now something else that we have been asked is can you use a scourer to clean your TV screen? Clearly that's not going to be the case, but I just want to see what effect it has on it. So this is just some general cleaning solution. So if you were to clean your TV screen with a scourer, what happens? And I suppose the, the first initial clean, and although I've not done it very hard, you will find over the time Okay, the, the spray I've used uh, hasn't dried properly yet, uh, but you'll find if you were to use a scourer, then you will get scratches on the TV screen. And if you want to damage your TV, then that's a really good way to do it. I suppose the conclusion to this all is that a lot of these solutions and bleaches and solvents that I've used to try and clean the TV screen haven't necessarily damaged it initially. Uh, as I say, I had no idea what was gonna happen, uh, but you will find if you keep on using those solvents or solutions, then it will damage the TV screen. And especially if it's got an anti-reflective or an anti-glare coating on it, then that will be damaged. Especially if you're gonna use the scourer, then that's clearly gonna damage it and you'll get scratches on the TV screen. That's why I just recommend using the e-cloth uh, on the TV screen. And if you need to get a little bit more, so if it's really dirty, then just use a little bit of distilled water. Uh, I suppose I'm gonna go and I keep waving my, my marigold or my glove around at the moment but all i want to do is to say thanks for joining me in this video 
uh, if you haven't got any comments on it. If you, what do you use to clean your TV screen? Is there something else that you use that is a really good option that I've not covered here? Also, what have you had on your TV screen that was either really difficult or really easy to get off? I'd be really interested to hear. Thanks for watching.